Um, to Egg Lab. So I wanted, I wanted us to have a model, you know, we got to see in the lab with the onion cell how putting in a hypertonic environment, what happened to it, how it moved away from the wall, and then putting it back in a hypotonic environment. So I wanted you guys to see that for an animal cell, but it's really not possible for us to see it under the microscope. So I made a giant cell model. So we're going to use, this, the egg is the perfect model of a cell, okay? And in fact, the human egg, like the female that, that females make, is the biggest cell in our body of all human cells. But a chicken egg is actually multiple cells put together. But it makes a great example. So everybody draw the egg. And what I did, I took the shell off of it, okay? And so this isn't boiled, this is raw. But I put it in vinegar, which eats away the shell. You guys can do this at home. Um, the vinegar eats away the cell until you're left with just the membrane. And so I want you to draw the egg and then let's label the parts like it's a cell. So this outside would be the cell membrane. Okay. The white part would be the what? Cytoplasm. cytoplasm. So the white part would be like the cytoplasm and the yolk would be the what? Nucleus. Nucleus. I would draw like a little circle in there, yeah. And so here it is. You guys can try this at home. You just put it in uh, vinegar for maybe, I put this one in for 48 hours, but um, somewhere between 24 and 48 is when it's really completely solid. So I'm going to come around so you guys can feel it if you want to. It, it's a little bouncy, <laughs> but it will burst. I have burst one of these on a student before, so this, this is my uh, <laughs> disclaimer. So I'm going to bring it around. If you want to hold it, put your hand out like this, so I know that's what you want. Because the one time I broke this on a kid, it was because there was like some confusion over whether they wanted to take it or just touch it, and it ended up in their lap. So, oh, broken. <laughs> so, if you want to hold it, or you can put two hands, just whatever. If you just want to touch it, then I'll just hold it out. And you can touch it, but you just want to look at it. It's like, cute. Yeah. Don't see that. See that. <laughs> Not very sweet, okay? 
But basically, corn syrup is straight sugar. Okay, and you'll see like it's very thick. Uh, yeah, it's about the consistency of honey. Ooh, got a little dry. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover our egg in corn syrup. And you guys can see how thick it is. Yeah. It looks a lot like honey. It's the consistency of honey. Okay. So go ahead and draw the corn syrup and label. How many do you do that? Just make like a, a line on Yeah, that's line. fine. Yeah, just make a line. And so we've completely covered our egg in corn syrup. And go ahead and label the corn syrup. And then I want you to go to write, go ahead and write it down. Don't say it out loud. What kind of environment do you think the corn syrup is? Is it hypotonic, hypertonic, or isotonic? So write it down. You can look back at your notes just to show us the nature. <laughs> Write down hypertonic, hypertonic, or isotonic. Okay. And then I want you to go ahead and write a hypothesis about what you think is going to happen tonight. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen in the speaker tonight? <laughs> write it down. <laughs> and so then on Thursday, we'll see what actually happens.